Hey, what's up? It's Graham here and I want to show you how to set up a device and you might be remote but you have some remote hands available to you. So behind me you can see I have got my Neatbar Pro connected up to my TV. So the end user on the site has been able to plug in power, network and HDMI. So what's next? We need to get the pad online, so plug that into a PoE port as well. Then we need to start the out of box process. So let's check this out. So here I have my neat pad. Powered up, ask me what language it is. Continue. Step number one, neat bar pro. Step number two. Mounting guide, we don't need at the moment. Step number three. It's connected to the internet, good. Step number four, time zone, automatically selected now. Step number five, step number six. Number seven, it's found the bar. It's now doing its pairing. Here's our music to our ears. And step number eight. Now, it's asking me for a neat pulse enrollment code. Now imagine I am thousands of miles away. I've got my laptop <clears throat> and I've created an enrollment code in Pulse. So I simply ask the end user who is miles away to input this code. Now this bar and pad is enrolling in Neat Pulse. So we'll come down here and we watch it enroll. So by being so far apart from the two devices, okay, <clears throat> we're about 10 centimeters apart at the moment, but that could be 10,000 miles. Once that person has enrolled the device, it's all set up, it will then appear in here. And what that then will allow me to do remotely is then configure that device. So as long as the person on site is able to plug this in, power over ethernet or the power injector, get the bar connected to the screen, then you are able to click on here now. I can see it's on the network, I can see what version it is, and then I can hit remote control. I, then the, I can wait 15 seconds or I can ask them to hit allow. And then I've got full control of the front of room display and the controller so then I can carry on taking control of the device and choose my platform Microsoft Teams I want to deploy onto the device so very simple for someone at a remote site to install a neat bar do I think was it eight steps eight presses of a next button enter a eight digit code and then you've got full control over this device. Now remember with Neat Pulse we have two-way control uh, so we can also when this signs into uh, Microsoft Teams and installs the application we can get the code from Microsoft and we can put that into a browser and sign in or alternatively we can sign in directly on the device and again I can cut and paste through the browser into Pulse as well. So you've got that full control more or less remote provisioning fully from your device here. So now that's the applications installed. We launch Teams. And as you can see, this will now refresh and get a code. Or I could hit refresh, and the same on the pad. <clears throat> there we go. So I've got two options. I can hit sign in on device and I can type in username and password and again you can do exactly the same on a pad so again I'm controlling this remotely as you can see 10 centimeters or 10,000 miles away it doesn't matter you've got rem uh, remote control two-way control to the controller and there we have an out-of-box experience running the latest February build of MTR on Android code so whenever you do a factory reset we now give you the latest build that's matching 
tech, although there was a new update uh, a few days ago, a little hotfix. That'll be rolled out with the next release in 24.2 of the OS in April. Or you can push it manually from TAC. Just has some bug fixes. Not sure exactly what those bug fixes are. There we are. It's now signing in. <coughs> and again, as part of the, the latest builds, they have auto pairing. So the, the two will auto pair as well. If you're wondering what that large humming noise in the background is, that's a Windows MTR. Really silent devices. It's getting ready for takeoff. So there we have it. Uh, it'll auto pair, and there's a countdown timer that you can see that it's going to auto pair with the, the pad. So that's the bar and pad all set, all paired. So, very minimal experience. This, this video is just over 10 minutes. So again, out of box, remotely provisioned in under 10 minutes. So where else can you do that? What other device can remotely be provisioned within around 10 minutes? Neat pulse, neat hardware, neat firmware, an awesome combination with Microsoft Teams Rooms. Any questions, let me know.